everyone, welcome back to my channel. Brenda Summers, Independent Sensi Consultant. Welcome if you're new. I am going to be going over the warmers that I had showed in my previous video. I did not unbox them because each box took me at least five or ten minutes to get through all the wrapping, especially the um, glow warmers. Oh my gosh, that was a nightmare trying to get them out of the box, let alone um, trying to get this. I hate things in styrofoam. And then I threw away the dish, <laughs> even though I knew um, the dish was at the side of the uh, glow warmer. I still threw it out, so I had to <laughs> go taking in the garbage for that. <sighs> Anyways, I hate styrofoam. And these were a nightmare to package, so it took me a while. <laughs> so that's why I decided to shoot another video because it's just wasted time. Watch me unpack. I mean, <laughs> I know I can be annoying and a little bit forethought, but oh well. <laughs> Anyways, I picked up these warmers and the small warmers um, on a party um, close out so I had four half off items and then $200 almost in product credit so I had to use it up some way so I decided to buy one two three four five warmers and then I think I bought three small warmers I believe and um, I think three small warmers and then the Sensi Go so not too bad uh, one wax bar um, and one sun circle, so not too bad. Um, these can get pricey, but these ones are gorgeous. So as I was unboxing these um, warmers, I didn't realize that one warmer, I, I was expecting one warmer to be a certain color, and I don't know why I had it in my head that it should have been purple, but it wasn't. And then I had one um, warmer that I unboxed, I thought the dish would be tin or metal, and it's not. And then another warmer is an element warmer. I had forgot that that's what it was. And then the two aglow um, trees, the um, green large warmer and the small um, warmer, um, yeah, they were a nightmare to get out. Very fragile. If um, You've got to be careful of the leaves, the way they have them. They're easily bent, but they are really, really nice and beautiful up close and personal. I had seen the green one on Michael's um, channel, which is um, the Wax Vault. He's over there in um, the UK in Britain. So he often shows stuff that um, is really, really gorgeous. And um, it makes me think, hmm, should I be getting that or not? And then Lisa Roberry had shown it on her channel and I think a few others. So, um, yeah, so the medium warmer is coming back and move on it really quickly because it'll sell out really, really um, fast. Everybody's looking for that um, white middle warmer. So, um, yeah, without further ado, I'll try to glow these, glow these, turn them on and show you what they look like. Um, but they're very, very nice. The first one I'm going to show you is a ceramic warmer. It's a 25 watt and it's gather here with, o with open hearts or gather here with grateful hearts. Sorry. And this is kind of a farm chic kind of look. I love the metal and I love the fact that this is, um, all white and it's very, very, um, heavy actually. And then you've got like the wearing that you would get off that type of, um, I forget what kind of wear that is, but it's like the metal stuff that you get for camping and stuff. That's what they're trying to simulate here. And then this, for some reason, I thought it was a metal um, dish. Don't ask me why, but it kind of looks like metal. It's ceramic and it's very, very heavy. It's got the glazed, um, ceramic dish and then it has the nice um, border blue border and then it's glazed all the way around and then it's that matted ceramic on the bottom and they say no more than four you might be pushing it with five but I guess if you 
had a wax in it, it wouldn't be so bad. But I think, sorry, <coughs> if you got it on the metal, it might be a little bit hard to get. Especially, <coughs> sorry, especially with the um, saying etched out. <coughs> oh, why? My throat is dry, but sorry about that. So, this was worth the wait. I had seen these. I'd seen the canister and the prairie pitcher. So, that's something that I'm going to have to save up for. But very, very nice. I'm glad that I did um, get this one. So, I'll show you. So, what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing the shadow of the um, the lettering so I don't know if you guys can see the warmer I'm trying to get it in that sweet spot where you can see it um, okay right there and then here you go it's got the lights at the back and it'll glow on the wall so and the glow through the lettering so this is a really really nice um, warmer um, especially into if you're into chic or farm um, house chic the only thing that I'll warn you about and is the inside and I'll, is when you go to put your bulb in there are metal um, the metal screws that stick out so you there's a potential for you to actually um hurt yourself so just keep that in mind um that's the only warning and it's kind of like sharp so um that's the only downfall of this warmer um other than that it's a nice warmer i like it so um and since he always puts in a warning if there's metal or something that could um cut you like these little prong things then um They'll put it in their, their warmer as a warning. And then, as you can see, there you go. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'll show you one more time. I'm trying to get it in that sweet spot, but uh, I can never do it. Okay, there's that warmer. And then another warmer, and I don't know why I thought this was purple. But anyways, I still, I love this color. It's a pretty, pretty blue. This is the warmer dish. And I got love those here. This is really pretty. It's um, like a shiny matte coating in there. And then this is kind of matted. And it says up to four cubes. So, but I wouldn't put any more than four. Two would be sufficient enough. But this is a pretty, pretty color. And then um, this inlay here is like rose gold. So I'm not ab about the gold, but this is a really pretty, pretty warmer. And then on the inside, that's what it looks like. It's a 25 watt glass warmer. And then when you go to sit it, it has the notch out of it. So you can sit it flat on any furniture. So all, and this is pretty light. It's glass, of course. Um, the, the first one that I showed you is very heavy. So if you were to drop it, I think you would break it. Same with this one. But anyways, let me turn this one on. And look how pretty this is. Like, that is just gorgeous. Like, I like the glass warmers because they're pretty. Um, most of them do perform well for me anyways in my household. Um, a lot of people do not like glass warmers. A lot of people swear by ceramic. Uh, it depends on where you put your warmers and, and whatnot and what wax you're warming. Um, so, isn't that gorgeous, though? And then it's like pretty, pretty, pretty. So it's a pretty blue. So you could probably put colored bulbs in it. I would, I'm going to do a colored bulb. I think maybe put a blue in just to see, to give that extra bluey color or deeper color. So this is a really, really nice warmer. So it's all glass. So worth getting. So love lives here. 
pretty, pretty, pretty. And that's what that looks like again. So I'm really happy with that. And then I've been wanting this ever since it came out. It was the warmer of the month last December and it sold out right away. And then it went on back, it came back, it went on back order and then it kept going on back order and they finally brought it out in this um, catalog. I'm really happy. And this one is really heavy too. And it's actually an element warmer. So I'm really surprised. Um, I had forgotten that it was a element warmer. I don't know why. So anyways, it comes with this kind of a dish, which is interesting. And it says five cubes. I don't think I would trust it with five, but it is like a wider, um, shallower kind of dish. Inside is um, shiny and coated, and this side is kind of matte, and then that's what you get. You get your hot plate. So this is very, very nice lit up. Like this looks gorgeous in a dark, dark room. And let me. So this is Polar Panorama. And look at that. It's supposed to stimulate the northern lights. Isn't that gorgeous? I am so glad that I picked this up. So scared that I'm going to drop everything. But it, this does not give this warmer justice. It is pretty. It has um, trees in the background. I just wish that I could hit the sweet spot so you could see it. It is pretty in person. Like, look at it. It just goes through all those colors. <laughs> I know I'm a day late and a dollar short. Um, I'm behind on getting the latest and greatest warmers, but if you're new, it's always great to see what was and what came back. And so this was a hot ticket item and it is a gorgeous warmer and it's heavy, very, very heavy for an element warmer. So I'm really, really happy with that. So, and that's, I'm scared of breaking it. It's all, it's glass and a metal um, hot plate on top. So I was scared of um, dropping it. So I will unplug these warmers and I will um, show you the two Aglow warmers that I bought, the large green Aglow warmer and then the small Aglow warmer. The large one is a 25 watt, um, or the 25 watt, um, warmer and then the little one is actually a little 15 watt warmer so I don't know how um, far it's going to throw to be honest but anyways here's the little one and sorry I'll plug this one in So this is all metal, um, it's rustic, so if you like that type, it goes with your farm chic kind of um, vibe, if you have like a rustic vibe, so and that's what that looks like, it's a 15 watt um, warmer, and then you just have to be careful, um, these bend really, really um, um, quickly and then you've got like this metal stuff on the bottom you have to be careful not to cut yourself it is metal so keep that in mind and then I will turn it turn it that's what the little one looks like and then like I said it's a rustic kind of tree and then it comes with an itty bitty dish I don't think I would put more than one in that one that is like little um, and it was tucked up in the side of where the warmer was packaged so this is an itty bitty kind of warmer like <laughs> cute and then there's what that looks like and then lit up okay it's really nice lit up though. Um, this video doesn't do any justice, 
but I like the fact that it's silver, um, but it's a dull silver. So like I said, it's the rustic type of warmer. Um, it does glow a lot though, a lot more than what I thought. So I honestly don't think this will have like a big throw. Um, I wouldn't expect it to do a lot in an open concept, maybe in a smaller room. Um, but with all three of them, I think it would be gorgeous and they, they each complement each other. So how close can I go? And then at the back, it has the notch. So that's more rustic kind of metal. So, um, and then you've got the little tree. There's that one. So that's the small glow um, warmer. It's 15 watts. So um, everybody's after the large one and the medium one. So, and the large one is really, really nice. Um, I didn't think I would like it because it has gold in it. I'm not a gold person, I keep saying that. But this is done well. Um, sometimes I wish maybe the the star would have been silver, but then it wouldn't it wouldn't be all that effective because it's green and then you got the gold um, accents, so that wouldn't make sense now, would it? <laughs> okay, and then my cord extension, I'm sorry. Okay. And then here's this one. It's bigger. It's 25 watt. Um, it's pretty. That's what it looks like inside. You just have to be careful. I am um, getting it out of the box. I kind of bent up one or two of these prongs. You just have to um, be careful and, and put them back into shape. And then this one also has a cutout. So very, very nice. And the glaze is kind of shiny and compared to this. This one is rustic it has no coating on whereas this one does and then the dish what the dish i threw out is that big and it says up to four i would only put two in this one to be honest you might be pushing it with three and then it just sits right there so that's what that looks like and then you actually put on the tree top and i think that makes this warmer different and unique and then it's pretty as well so I'm glad that I got these um, had I not I think I would have been missing out to be honest um, they'll go well because I have deer on my coffee table and um, yeah we'll just make a deer scene with the trees just like in um, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer <laughs> So I'm a big kid when it comes to Christmas. I like all the Christmas shows. How about you? Um, what do you honestly think of this warmer or these two warmers or any warmer that I had shown lit up? Um, I'm just trying to get it in the sweet spot, but I don't think I'm going to. Uh, my, but anyways, very nice. And then you can do that too. You can just adjust it to whatever. So, so I'm looking forward to actually buying the medium one tomorrow. We'll see um, what happens and what comes up. If I don't, then I have these two and I'm happy with these two. I'll show you the size comparison. Um, I hope I don't drop it. I'm really a klutz when it comes to doing anything. So there's the size comparisons. And then the medium one is the in-between size. It's the 20 watt. So there's the Aglow warmers and the other three warmers. I'm really happy that I purchased these. Um, let your Sensi consultant know if you're in a shop a lot. She could, she or he can set up a, a link for you to shop at. It can be open 
end it um, to gain party rewards. Party rewards is so worth it because you're getting 50% off um, an item when you hit a certain threshold. When you hit another threshold, you get free shipping and then you get product um, credit as well. So it's well worth um, doing that or have a Sensi party. Um, ask your consultant how that works. When I um, have someone do a Sensi party for me, um, all they have to do is invite their guests and I set it up on Facebook. Um, I have not done an in-house um, party because of the pandemic. So Facebook works really, really well for me. It works well for um, my customers so far. I just set up another room or, or channel on Facebook and then they invite their friends and whoever they want to shop this link and then that's how they have a party and then I run it for a week or two usually you run them for about a week and then I just pop on um, doing videos demonstrating certain things just your basics I don't want to overwhelm them and then I just show them to the catalog and whatnot so um, I usually show them what's the latest and greatest, um, some of the LTOs, and then I go over the basics of the warmers and the wax and then the other system. So just basic, basic, so they're not overwhelmed. So that's how you get party rewards. Um, same with having a um, open shopping link on your consultant's website. So if you have any questions, please put them down below. If you have any comments, please them down below. I would really love for you to like and subscribe. It helps grow my channel a little bit more. It gets, um, it allows me to get to know everyone a little bit better. Um, I've been having fun so far. I think my videos somewhat are improving. Some days you kind of have to shake your head and go, oh lord. <laughs> and then other days I'm pretty good. So Oh, well, I'm human <laughs> and this is a real person sharing um, the products that I love. So what more can I say? I just love to ramble on. So I hope you're having a good day. Um, take care. Um, stay safe. Catch on the flip side. Bye for now.